Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, thank you for watching. So this is my third attempt at recording this video. <laughs> so this evening I am going to do a drugstore haul video. This is the first drugstore haul that I've actually done on my channel. The majority of my hauls have either been Sephora or high-end makeup and I just thought, do you know what, high-end makeup is so expensive and I really want to show you some like drugstore stuff that you can use in replace of certain things and I love drugstore makeup it is what I started off with so obviously before I knew who Too Faced were I'd heard about MAC but like Urban Decay, Benefit, all them different kinds of brands I use drugstore stuff that's where I shopped Boots, um, Superdrug, places like that that's where I picked my makeup up from and I still use a lot of the products from the drugstore and my favourite line is the Maybelline line but to be quite honest I have turned into a little bit of a snob and <laughs> I have gone a little bit OTT with higher end makeup but that's just me personally because I found so many different products and so many beautiful products I just want to try everything yeah. so I did go to the drugstore and I did pick up some products and I just thought I'd come and share them with you guys and see what you think and just show you everything I got so if you want to see what I picked up at the drugstore then just keep watching okay so really boring I'm just gonna start off with some facial cleansing wipes so I use the simple um, sensitive kind to skin cleansing facial wipes and these are the super soft removes waterproof mascara as well these makeup wipes are amazing I absolutely love these. Normally, if I can find where I put my other packet. So normally the cleansing wipes come in a green packet like this. But currently at the minute they've got some limited edition ones. So they come in the black and the pink packaging. And I love these. I know they're a facial cleansing wipe but I'm a sucker for cute packaging. I absolutely love it. Um, and I tend to go through a pack of these a month. Maybe a pack and a half depending on how often I wear makeup. So I did pick up ugh, a couple. <laughs> I like to buy backups. Um, the next item that I picked up is a new makeup brush and this is the Real Techniques powder brush. I'm loving the fact that I'm being able to try their makeup brushes. Now if I'm honest with you, in the drugstore these range like this brush in particular is £10.99. I'm not going to pay that for a brush from the drugstore just because I think I can get my brushes from Sigma and I can pay a little bit more and they're a really nice brush and stuff. See, snob, I this can't help it. This brush was £6.85p. So considering £10.99 in Boots and Superdrug, £6.85 was how much I paid for it. And it is literally the big fluffy powder brush. So I'm going to give this a wash and then I can give it a try and see how I like it. I can throw it at myself first though. I also picked up um, the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. Now if you all watch my makeup videos you will know that I use this religiously. I have literally just had to throw one in the bin and open a new one so I did have to go <laughs> and stock up. And I stocked up, I bought two. <laughs> but in all fairness these again are 5 99 in Boots and Superdrug and I got these for 3 84 again from TJ Hughes. I'm not lying to you. There is the receipt. Okay, so I'm just going to jump in this bag and pick at random. There is definitely some goodies in here. So the first thing that I picked up is the Colour Expert Shimmering Brick. And this is in the shade Pink Shimmer. I actually got um, Pink Shimmer and Bronze Shimmer for Katie who won my giveaway. And she loved these so much. And I hadn't got them and I was like, wow, she really likes them. I need to go and get one. So I went and got it and I swatched it and oh my god, I fell in love. This is absolutely beautiful. So somebody did say that these were um, a dupe for the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick and it is a beautiful pinky colour. So you've got some pinks, whites, browns and a goldy colour in there. Let me see if I can do a nice little swatch for you. Oh, that's a big old swatch there. Um, but this is such a beautiful shimmery shade. Okay, so the other two highlighters that are staring at me at the top are the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighters. And when I went, they only had, they've got three highlighters, but these were the only two 
that were available when I went. This first one is called Pink Shimmer. That is the product there. That is one highlighted finger. <laughs> so if I swatch this. Okay. I don't know why it's called Pink Shimmer. No, Pink Light, sorry, not Pink Shimmer. Um, because it's very purple. There are a lot of purple tones in that, so maybe that should be called purple lights, not pink lights. And then this one is called peach lights. So, so this is peach lights. Let me swatch it right next door. Okay, so this one isn't as vibrant as the pink lights. And there is a little tiny bit of peach, but I would have said there's more of a lilac -y colour in there. So again, this one is pink lights and this one is peach lights. But these highlighters, I think they were about £3. So it is literally nothing really, is it? You don't mind playing with highlighters at that kind of price. And sometimes I just like a really nice highlighter. Sometimes I want to shine up to the stars. Other times I want to just mellow it down a little bit. <laughs> um, another product that I picked up is my favourite drugstore primer. And this is the L'Oreal Lumi Primer. I love this primer. This is really good for people with dry skin. So obviously I have very dry skin, so I like a water-based primer, and this um, is the primer for me. I also got the L'Oreal Lumi Pencil as well. So this is the pencil highlighter. So uh, this is meant to be like a concealer, but a highlighter at the same time. I got mine in shade number one light. Um, okay, now going back to the Maybelline, I picked up some of the Fit Me products. So I already wear the foundation and I've got the concealers, I've got the Age Really Wine concealers. Maybelline for me is one of my favourite drugstore products. I've not gone wrong with any of their stuff. I just absolutely love it. So one of the things I did want to try is the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. And this is in the shade 125. So this is the shade of my darkest foundation that I have by them. So, ooh. oh, okay. Okay, so it comes with the powder here and then it lifts up and it has a mirror and then it's got like a little powder puff. That is so cute. I won't use it, but it's so cute. And a nice big mirror there. But considering this is 125, this looks really, oh yes, this is very light. So this is the shade 125. It's very light, but it blends really nice. And you know what? This would actually be perfect for setting under eye concealer. Yes, I like that for setting under eye concealer. I might have so a this powder. is a bronzer. But again, I'm kind of thinking now I've just seen that powder, maybe this is going to be a bit too light. Because it does look very, very light, that bronzer. And again, it's got the mirror on one side. Oh, okay. Oh. And it comes with a little tiny brush as well. If I can take it out of its packaging. So we've got a little brush there. That's quite a cute little brush. I wouldn't use it, but you could definitely get in there and carve out a contour, couldn't you? If you didn't want to go out and buy the, what's it called? Eda brush by NARS. Eda brush. I can't get it back in its packaging. So... Yes, this is the bronzer, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to bronze my face. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to bronze my face with this. This is far too light for my skin tone. So, this is the bronzer. It's a bit too orangey for me. I don't really like an orangey. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. It's, can you see how orange that is? Okay. Let's not fear. I definitely can't use it as a bronzer, but I can definitely use it as an eyeshadow um, transition shade. I also picked up three of their 24 hour colour tattoo cream eyeshadows. And I love them, they come in little containers like this, I couldn't think of what they were called. So the first one is in the shade On and On the Bronze. Did I read that right? Yes. 35 On. And on but, the bronze. Look at that bronzy colour. That is so pretty. I absolutely... Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. That is such a gorgeous bronzy colour. And especially now for this time of year. Beauts. Love it. Okay, and the next one is Creamy Beige 98. I kid you not. Creamy beige, 
98. I'm probably showing you, but my camera and its focus is just ridiculous at the minute. Okay, this looks very like a matte creamy colour. I don't know. So this is it here. Creamy beige? Is that what it's called? Um, to be quite honest, I've not used it on my eye yet, so I can't really give it a fair comment. But swatching it on the back of my hand, it kind of went on patchy and I had to move it out. And then the last one that I got is 65 Pink Gold. See? That's a name. Pink Gold. You just can't go wrong. And of course, this is my kind of colour. I love this colour. We'll just give it a nice old big old swatch there. <clears throat> Ooh, pretty. So this is it. And let's swatch it next to the ooh. See this one and on the bronze, they just swatched so so pretty. Look at that. So pink gold and that bronze is on fleek. <sighs> okay, so I also picked up the three of the Maybelline Colour Show eyeshadows. And the first one that I picked up is a nice dark shade. And this is in the colour number six, Ashy Wood. And this is a beautiful dark shade. I really, really do like this. And again, they feel really nice. They're nice and creamy. So this is a really, it's like a dark brown with a hint of black in there. It is really nice. I really like that. You could really smoke out your eye with that out. Or you could go in with a very light hand and put this in your crease as well, very, very lightly. The next one that I got, this is shade number 23, Copper Fizz. I love this one. How beautiful is that? Come on, people. You know if you know me, I love anything that shines and shimmers. Oh, I want a big old swatch of that. That is absolutely gorgeous and let's pop that down right next to that ashy wood oh it's so pretty so again it's bronzy oh bronzy gold with oh just ooh, loads of goodness in there <laughs> that is such a they are going to make a beautiful pair absolutely gorgeous and then i also got a highlighting shade as well just because i thought well i got a dark I got a bronzy one that'll go all over the lid. So I got number 13, Sultry Sand. And again, this is just gonna be a really beautiful highlighting shade, which is like this. And then if we swatch it right down. Yeah, so this is a pearlescent white. So that is it swatched right there. How pretty So is that? my last two, I think these are the last two, don't quote me on that, are some eyeshadow pencils. And these are by Work The Colour Eyeshadow Pencils. And I got Vanilla Sky and Vintage Blush. And I got these just simply because I thought they'd be really good as a base colour down first. And then if you wanted to go in with a powdered eyeshadow, they'd make them really pop. So I'm a dry-ish. So oh, let's do a big old swatch of these so you can actually see them. I'll do them one next to each other. Oh, they're very creamy. So this one here is, what did I say that was called? Vanilla Sky, did I say? Yes, Vanilla Sky. And then the pinky one is Vintage Blush. So again, they're going to be really, really okay, pretty. Two more products the that I picked up from Maybelline are their Fit Me concealers. And I got the shades number 15, which is on top, and number 10, which is on the bottom. So 15 is a lighter shade, which would be perfect for highlighting. And number 10, which is on the bottom, it's a bit darker. So this would be definitely, definitely better to go in and obviously conceal under eye dark circles. Sometimes I like to take um, a darker colour concealer when I've got nothing on my face and just put a little bit underneath my eyes just to counteract any blueness that's there and then go in with my foundation and sometimes I just find that it takes away the, the ring that you can get underneath your eyes. So again, Maybelline Fit Me line, love their products, absolutely love their concealers. 
moving back to Revolution, I picked up three of their lip lacquers. And again, these were like £3, which is an absolute bargain for a lip lacquer. I have tried one of these already and I didn't love it just simply because it crumbled off my lips when I applied a second coat. So maybe that's where I went wrong. Maybe I should have just popped one coat on and just left it at that. So let me give you a swatch of them because the colour is amazing. Honestly, when you swatch these, absolutely amazing. So this first one is called Keep Crying For You and it is a beautiful pink colour. I'm going to put a big old swatch on the back of my hand. Oh, 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 oh. Every time I do a swatch, I can't help it. Gorgeous. So this is Keep Crying For You. Look how bright that colour is. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then I bought the red shade, which is called Keep Trying For You, which again is a beautiful red shade, especially with Christmas only around the corner. Come on people, it's only around the corner. <clears throat> and they go on so nice as well. Literally when you swatch them, it's like, they're like butter. They go swatch like butter. So keep trying for you is right next to the pink one. And then the last one, which the, is the colour that I was most excited about and is, didn't work for me properly, is called Velvet Rebel. And this is a beautiful purple colour. So again, it could just be that they are a one a one time thing you can only put them on once don't try to reapply so that is there velvet rebel how pretty is i also that? picked up three and new lip liners just because obviously the seasons are changing now so the lipsticks are changing we're leaving the bright colors behind and we're going to the darker shade so i wanted some really nice like plummy colored lip glosses and neutral lip glosses no lip liners one of them that I did buy that I didn't realise I already have is the Rimmel East End Snob. It's a full colour lip liner. So that is it there and it's called East End Snob. Nevertheless, it is an absolutely beautiful colour. Another nude shade that I got, this is from the makeup brand BD and this is in the shade Sugar Spice. Ooh. Ooh, you're kind of matte as well. Oh, they remind me of the um, Urban Decay lip liners, and I love them. Especially just like the pencil bit of it and how it looks. Obviously, these are lip liners that do need sharpening, but I don't mind that. And this is Sugar and Spice, so it is right there next to East End Snow. Okay, so the next shade that I got is in Pink Berry, and this is a very, very pretty shade as well. And <gasps> Oh, I got a little bit excited then. <laughs> so right there on the end is Pink Berry. How pretty is that shade? That is going to be gorgeous all over the lips and a nice lipstick. I, I, ideas, people, look, ideas. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on to eyebrow products now. So you all know that I'm a huge fan of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I absolutely love that thing. It is amazing. But her brow gel, oh, her clear brow gel gives me life. I, oh my God, words cannot describe. I love that stuff. I live for it. But obviously I wanted to try a cheaper alternative to it. And I've seen them in the drugstore and I've kind of thought, mm, am I going to try them? And I never thought that I would. And then one day I walked and I was just like, Gemma, buy them all. And I did. Oh my God. Well, when I say I bought them all, <laughs> I bought the two that they had there for Maybelline. So a huge fan of Maybelline so far, I tried them. So I got the clear one and I also got the dark brown one. These were the only two shades that they have. Um, I've not actually looked at these yet, so. Oh, that's a weird brush. Okay, so this is the brush. Look at the ball on the end of the brush. Like, am I going to... Oh, I'm not going to get that through my eyebrow. What happens if cause, like, your eyebrow goes kind of... Well, I don't know. I don't know. I need to play with that and see. And then the clear one. The clear one probably you're not going to be too bothered with if you get a bit of it on the skin. But the brush is kind of weird. Do you not think? Like, do you know what it reminds, it reminds me of the Benefit Their Real Mascara? Because I had a ball on the end and I didn't like that. 
And then I also got the Rimmel Born This Way Brow Styling Gel and I got all three of them. So I got the clear, dark brown and medium brown ones. So, ugh. God, I am all fingers and thumbs. Why can I not hold these? <laughs> so these are what they look like. And again, obviously the clear one just speaks for itself. And again, this is a really thick brush. A really, really thick brush. So... Don't know. Don't know. And then I couldn't make up my mind between the, the two brands. So I got a darker brown which I'm kind of feeling that one. And then I also got a, oh, no, I'm not feeling this brown. This is way too light for me. I might have to pass that on to my mum. But yeah, I just thought I'd give them a try and see how they go. So moving on, I also picked up two eyeliners and these are the Scandalize by Rimmel. Um, one of them is a thick and thin eyeliner and then the other one is a precision micro eyeliner so I did get the two different ones that they had there I must have looked like a crazy person when I went because I was just like I want that I've tried that throw it in my basket I'm dropping everything so they are both black <laughs> me double check yes they are both black so this is the thick or thin one. Oh, it's waterproof oh, okay so depending on which way you hold the brush, you can either do a really fine line or you can do a little bit of a thicker line. And then this one is, ah yes, yeah, so this is the thin nib. So this is going to be a really nice thin line, isn't it? Oh yes. Ooh, so this one here is the, so these two are from the thick and thin one and then this is from the micro precision one. So again, you can really get in and do some detail work with them. Well, that might come in really good for Halloween. I really like that. It's really, really thin. And, ooh, oh, I can't get it off. Oh, okay, so it's really good. It doesn't want to come off. Well, it did eventually. We're nearly at the end. <laughs> the last products that I'm gonna talk about are lip products. So I did go a little bit crazy on lip products this time because I wanted to try some deeper colors, obviously for this time of year. So I spotted these and I was like, what are you? And these are the Maybelline Color Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencils. And I got two of them. And let me just say, this is the product that you get. Just a small pencil like this. And these are like eight pound. I don't know if it's worth, but then I've not tried it. But, oh, I take that back. This is worth eight pound. <laughs> Oh, I really like that colour. Ooh. Okay. Disregard my previous comment. I take it back. Because look at them shades, people. Oh my god, this purple shade here is giving me life. <gasps> wow. So this... I don't know what you called. So this darker one is called Berry Much. And that is number 310. And then... This shade here, which is beautiful, is called dun 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 keep it classy 210. How pretty are they? They are gorgeous. I really, really like it. Oh, I'm excited to use them now. I've just been moaning about a price, Gemma. Don't moan until you've done a swatch. And I didn't even swatch these in the shop either. I was just like, yeah, it's fine, throw it in, throw it in. <laughs> I also got two more lipsticks by Maybelline and I got number 220 Sugar Plum. And I just thought this was such a pretty colour. I was like, yes, I want to try this colour. Oh, it's very pretty. It's very like neutral. And it is a lovely, it's more like a pinky purple colour, but it's very pretty. So the next one is in the shade 325 Plum Passion. And this is a really, really pretty shade. Look at that one. <gasps> is that not gorgeous? Honestly, do these colours just not scream autumn to you? <laughs> 
the next one that I got, this is, oh no, these two are both Rimmel. They've just got different packaging. These are similar to the Kate Moss ones. And this is in the shade 086 Sugar Plum. This is very pretty. I really like this. It's got a really nice pearlescent shimmer to it. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, that is gorgeous. I need to try that on now. Sorry. <laughs> Do I apply lipstick weird? How pretty is that colour? I mean, look at it swatched. Oh, this colour and that purple lip liner. Hmm. New obsession. Oh my gosh. And for a Rimmel lipstick, it smells really good. It smells quite fruity. Oh, loving this colour. And then the final lipstick that I picked up is another Rimmel one. And this is in the shade 380 Dark Night. And let me tell you that I was so obsessed with this one. I pulled it out of the packaging the other day. And I have a grey carpet. I dropped it like this. And it landed this way down. Mm, look at my nip. <laughs> look. Not only was I mortified about the fact that I ruined my nice shape of my lipstick, when I lifted it up, there was this purple stain on my carpet. Let me swatch. I'm going to put a big swatch right at the top here for you. Look how deep that is. Now imagine that on grey carpet. <laughs> I nearly died. And then me being me, automatically picked a makeup wipe out and started to rub. Mm-mm. It made it worse. The vanish and everything had to come out. Luckily enough though, we managed to get it out of the carpet and it just meant that it was the end of the lipstick that were nibbed. But how pretty is that colour for winter? I mean, come on. It's so pretty. I feel like I need to try it. I don't, I've put so many lipsticks on today. <gasps> oh my God, this lipstick. I'm done. I'm do winter. Feel free to come in. Ah, oh, how amazing! Mm. Very creamy, very very creamy. But what was that duck lip then? <laughs> how pretty is this colour? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. So we okay. made it to the end of the haul, and good. God, was that some haul. <laughs> I really do ramble. I can't help it. I only speak to you once a week. <laughs> no joking. I just love a good natter and a good catch up. But I wanted you guys to see what kind of things I was picking up and just letting you know what's good and stuff. So I am going to give all of these, even the ones that I'm not 100% sure on, I'm definitely going to give them a good try. And then before I decide whether they do work for me or if they don't work for me, because something that might not necessarily work for me would work for other people. Like some of these things would look brilliantly on even my mum or my sister. So if they don't work for me, they know that they'll be getting some new makeup at some point so <laughs> watch out girls it may be in your christmas box <laughs> Yeah, so thank you so much for staying with me till the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you enjoy seeing a drugstore haul, then just let me know and I will definitely keep up to date with them. So every time I do a higher end one, I'll make sure that I throw in a drugstore haul as well. So yes, um, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for coming across and watching me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do like it. And please subscribe if you already haven't because you all know Mama's doing a new giveaway very soon. <laughs> so stay tuned for my new giveaway, which is gonna be announced probably next month. I've been super busy and I've already bought two products for my new giveaway. I am so, so excited. I cannot wait to start showing you what I've been picking up and announcing it all. So yes, make sure you stay tuned for that so you don't miss out on anything. And until my next video, I will see you all soon. Bye guys.